Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. So uh, recently, I uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Caribou. It's a girl. She was a part of like Lil Yachty's label, uh -huh. the Concrete Boys. So like, I guess they fell out. She claimed that she was getting bullied. He claims like he writing all her songs and she nine hundred thousand dollars in debt. Do you feel like it was those those were the only problems, or do you think they had some other shit going on? I think Yachty was clapping them cheeks, bro. And all the reason why I'm saying y'all was cracking through cheeks because in business, bro, you know that you gonna put this money into it for marketing management, wardrobe, and all that, bro. You know what come with the game, bro. So for anybody to out somebody on camera, bro, they in their feelings, bro. You know, bro, this the era we take all our problems to the front. I had to stop doing that shit because that shit lame. Don't take all your problems on the internet, bro. It's not gonna work. I'm still getting burned from shit that I said four years ago, bro. So by him doing that, with, he the man, bro. He the nigga with the money. So like, nobody give a fuck about what she say. She, bro, by her being cut off was a bigger statement than her. Yo, bro, the, the company that, when you hurt, the company that was like, this is the reason why I fire Fred. You know what I'm saying? They fight, yeah. don't come in. That's it, don't come in. They don't, they got the business out of reputation too. Yeah. So you gotta think about it, Yachty. You're a good songwriter. You're a person that's in the industry and relevant. But he just didn't do that. To care, but we did that shit to his partner too. Yeah. But when a nigga, let me tell you something, just because your partner got money don't mean you stop working. Don't mean that you don't generate your own money. Because y'all didn't have no point to say, I put money in your pocket. I sit here and get these orders for you. Because if you try to get in this inbox and get these orders, they not gonna pay attention to you. Yeah. So it's like, I got money, he nah, he got, he get time to take care of people. Yeah, so I, let's I, take it a different a different step. So uh, you recently you just linked up with OG Percy. So uh, meeting Percy, I think that's the first time ever in my life. Sick. Okay, so how 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 was it? Percy a real nigga, bro. I can't really talk about what we talked about because you gotta yeah. wait for it to drop. But Percy a real nigga, bro. Percy came to H Town one day, awesome gangster shit, chilling, not animated at all. Bro, one thing I can say, bro, about Percy, bro, that was good that we squashed our beef, bro. Because that been ongoing. I've been talking shit. He's been talking shit to me. But I told him, I said, shit, you getting your revenge. I ain't tripping. But at the end of the day, that's a big statement for Texas so we can all get together and do shit because I said some shit to Percy that was out of pocket. You feel me? Talking about his personal business, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just, like, working with him, we could have orchestrated some shit and it could have been way more bigger. So... See, it's some more shit co uh, uh, like coming, for real, for real, between me and Percy. Yeah, nah, that's what's up. Uh, speaking of squash and beast, there's a couple of others that I guess you got ongoing. One in particular, like, uh, I, I, I feel like it's karma making its way in a circle. Five years ago, I remember, like, people were... Leaking your, your, your and leaking your address, they sending groceries and shit, and now we see... Those same people receiving shit at they don't step. Pizzas. What that boy, bro? Bro, it's a lot of bro. Back in Memphis was a, 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 a savage. That was the first guy to ever speak his mind. He said, when JLK got murdered, he said, yeah, the roosters came home to roost. Whatever you put out there, whatever you like, it's going to come back. You feel me? So that situation, he paid for people to buy us. He paid for people to lose their wives and shit. And then what's so crazy about this, I want women to take a part from this because everything is a lesson, right? Everything is a lesson. It's a lot of females in the same situation that she in. You feel me? You think that you can give a nigga all you got. And then when you don't, when you can't give no more, he gonna throw your ass away like a piece of trash. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, recently, two of the biggest black streamers, uh, Kasanai and Speed, they were uh, streaming together. They went from playing the game to like getting in the shower together. Being a black content creator, what which one of them had a problem with it? I don't know. They both got in the shower. Hey, you ever play organized sports? Yeah, for sure. Football players take showers with each other all the time. Basketball players take showers with each other all the time. You wash your shit and get the fuck up out of there. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when you playing football, you playing sports, you, them niggas ain't playing sports, though. 
So you know what I'm saying? I don't know what them niggas do, but if niggas know, I don't know, maybe they bro bros. Like, I don't know. I would never get in the shower with them. On stream, though? Like, like, bro, they doing that spot and people was looking. Kasanak, bro, I'm trying to figure out, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad because little niggas like Kasanak can make money being fun boys, like doing fun boy activities, like getting in the shower. That other dude is weird. He always make homophobic references. So like, you don't know what's going on. Hey, no, like try. I don't want to put the bubbles. Last time I was in that goddamn interview, I had asses on my shoulder, string or I'm like, oh, I did myself wrong. But um, no, Kasanak, I don't know what to say about that shit, bro. I, I don't want to count nobody. Nothing out their name, but they do a lot of bro bro shit. Too many niggas, too many niggas, no females. If I'm a big time streamer like that, bro, it's gonna be like equal. That like you gonna be on the bitch, you gonna be on the bitch, he gonna be on the bitch. You know I ain't gonna be on nothing because I'm married. But like you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. if I had homeboys, I have uh, have some females in this motherfucker. So recently, uh, Brick Wolf Pack had did an interview uh, on TikTok where he. Like alluded to him saying that he's bisexual and he his people whooped his ass. Bro. He said, "Yeah, it came out there." I they came with that house bro. Came with that house serious. Said he had disciplined him or whatever. So, like, what is your thoughts on that? He shouldn't play like that. Cause you never know who you embarrassing, bro. Your name is born when you're connected to something, bro. And you know, a lot of people are doing. Brick Woodpack got a family. That did some successful shit like Aztec, who was in a Drake Double Drift Out remix, and then he went out to be a boxer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got a lot of good shit going on, so they don't got no time for a person that connected to their bread, family or not, to do some shit like that or say something like that. Do I think the nigga was talking? Yes, I feel like he was being sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? Because once again, that bro bro shit is kind of like suspect because when you look at the picture with him and Lefty Gunplay, you know what I'm saying? They was too close. Too close. They look like they were damn big about the kids for real, but that's too close. But I think they was on some bro-bro shit. Them niggas in front of the club squabbling and everything. They know. 